Hi, I'm Alex Kaminsky. Welcome to Blood Clotting for Dummies. From the time of injury, your blood vessel is also injured, causing little collagen fibers on the ends to be exposed. Which also, when your collagen fibers are exposed because you're injured, your blood vessels constrict, which means they get smaller. Alright, since there is a little hole exposed in your blood vessels, little white and blood cells white and red blood cells, they escape. Also, bacteria tends to go through. After bacteria goes through, histamine is released. Since histamine is released, it helps your blood vessels to dilate, or known as vasodilation. After vasodilation, your leukotrains come in, and they tell your white blood cells to marginate. Means move to the side. Okay? Alright. Alright. After margination, your things called phagocytes, alright? Phagocytes come in and they eat up the bacteria. Okay? Little phagocytes here. It's gonna come eat the bacteria. Alright. Now that the bacteria is removed, cytokines, or commonly known as the COX, they come in and they tell the platelets to clot. Alright? Those guys, they tell the platelets to clot. Stick over here. They stick to the collagen fibers, white blood cells, and then they form a clot. Okay, there's your blood clot.